And tonight, the family of Erica Hernandez gathered where her SUV was pulled from a pond. Hours after it was confirmed, the body found inside was the missing mother. Investigators believe she'd been there ever since the night she disappeared more than three weeks ago. And now her family wants to know what was she doing there so far from home? Police say the FBI got a tip that led them to the pond in Pearland, but they haven't said where that tip came from. Lauren Tallarico is in Pearland tonight and spoke with her family. Lauren. Well, the family is still in oh. shock and are waiting for this all to sink in. But even so, one thing they feel sure of, this wasn't an accident. And we praise and we thank you, Lord for the life that you have given her, Lord. Tonight, family gathered around this Pearland Pond. We thank you for the angels that led us to her, Lord. To pray for the life of Erica Hernandez. Her story is not finished yet. It's like it just begun. Her sister Ashley, who has been relentless in her search, thanked the community for their support. We just also ask that y'all please continue to support us uh, in the search for answers. Investigators say there was damage to Erica's SUV consistent with hitting a curb, then going into the water. Her family says Erica had no reason to be this far from her Sunnyside home, about 10 miles away. Pearland Police has now taken over the investigation and did not rule out foul play. We're actually going to go and leave no stone unturned. We are going to start in the upper left and initiate this investigation and not stop until we have it completed. We know that justice is yours. Tonight, as the family prayed for justice, they also thanked God for precious memories. She always brought beauty. She brought her dimples, her smile. She brought joy and for what she leaves behind. I think the most important thing is that she brought me these kids to love. And we're gonna keep loving them. That's how we're gonna raise them. Those kids are beautiful. Um, the family is asking anybody who lives around this area to please check their home surveillance cameras for any clues. Erica Hernandez was last seen April 18th. Investigators say it's possible her car had been here since. Len. Still waiting on more answers. Lauren, thank you for the update tonight.